Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Singra and as you already know me by now, I am a proud fintrammer. Welcome. Welcome friends, welcome to the current issue discussion that I needed to have with you today in order to ensure that you're really aware in terms of, you know, what is happening in the SBR world, what is happening on the current issue side of it. Current issues, as I said already in our sessions and of course in our revision boot camp, that it is one of the important aspect of strategic business reporting exam because examiner really, really likes to test you on various issues that are happening in the industry and of course issues that are happening on the lawmaker side. The folks who are responsible, whether it is the IASBs, the ISSBs and so on and so forth, they are dealing with various issues in the industries day in and day out. And they're constantly rigorously working in terms of really coming up with the right law, right pronouncements, right, right standards over there. So that industry can really incorporate that and give back the investors, give back the public the right information, what is supposed to be reached out to them or to be sent out to them. And that is the reason, my friend, examiner loves to test you that are you aware of not only the IFRSs that are already there on the cards, but also about the current issues that are really, really prevalent in the industry or that are really being faced by these organizations and what they are really capturing and doing up for the same. Today, I have come up with one of the latest and the re recent current issue that I really wanted to talk on that is on the sustainability reporting because this has been recently, recently brought to the notice of the regulators in terms of that they really need to do something on this on the sustainability reporting reporting piece and that's the reason my friend i thought let's just pick it up and start and, and of course bring that to our discussion so that we can really talk through on that should we go and check that yes sir but before really going there what is that that you always need to do sir we have to subscribe sir subscribe to the channel fintram global for keep getting these videos in order to ensure that all these important and the relevant videos are being sent to us or we are being informed about it in the right manner and of course in the timely way. Yes, my friend, subscribe to our channel Fintram Global and I'm sure you would get all these, all these relevant videos. Should we go and check as to what the sustainability reporting is? Yes, sir. All right. Moving on to sustainability reporting. Now, this is one of the recent, recent current issue that would really come up your way and you really need to be surely, surely be aware of before you really sit for an exam. Sustainability as a concept is not new for you, my friend. We all understand that sustainability reporting is one of the big time prerogative for all of the industries and of course companies that are really, really in existence and one of the aspects that they really need to ensure and of course handle and of course adhere to is that whatsoever they may do, is sustainable for a longer period of time, both not only from their existence standpoint, but also from the environmental standpoint. And we all know that. However, there are various issues that are going on on the reporting side of it as to how the sustainability reporting has to happen, how the organization should be dealing with it. And of course, the organizations, the lawmakers are also struggling and of course going through various various discussions and various of course forums to really really come up with the right color or come up with the right way as to how one should be reporting on the sustainability and this this current issue specifically talks on basically it's a status check as to what is happening on the sustainability reporting side and you being the person who would be giving an exam on that, who would be giving an exam on the strategic business reporting should be knowing that this is happening on the other side of the table. This is what is happening in the industry so that you're completely equipped in order to handle any question that examiner likes to ask us on this. Should we go and check out on this current issue? Yes, sir. All right. Through sustainability reporting, companies communicate their performance and impacts on the wide range of sustainability topics. We know that, sir. This is very obvious. This is something we're completely aware of. Spanning environmental, social and governance parameters, it enables companies to be more transparent about the risk and opportunities they face, giving stakeholders greater insight into performance beyond the bottom line 
this is something we have learned enough sir by now in various things that we have really discussed in our sessions and of course in the revision boot camp also we are aware that one of the aspect of the reporting is not only the profit now it is again having a broader broader reach now in terms of including something in relation to the sustainability including something in relation to overall integrated reporting that has to happen and so on and so forth got it in april 2021 the ifrs published two document in relation to the project on sustainability reporting the first summarizes the the significant matters raised by the respondent to the consultation paper on sustainability reporting got it the second document was an exposure draft with the proposed targeted adjustment to the ifrs foundation constitution to accommodate an international sustainability standard board issb got it sir this would allow issb to set the ifrs sustainability standards so effectively you really need to know how the ship is moving how the things are really shifting the gears got it sir the ifrs foundation reviewed the feedback on the consultation paper on the sustainability reporting now this is something examiner expects you to know that you should know that there is a consultation paper that is really really moving on on to the sustainability reporting and this is what ifrs foundation is reviewing and this is what they are doing about it got it sir and set out the strategy that proposed the creation of the new board the issb this is something you should surely surely be aware of under the foundation's current governance structure the ifrs foundation reached the following conclusion now if you really read through this you will understand that the examiner really wants you to know what is happening on their side of the table on the side of the table of the ifrs's regulators let's go and check that the new board will would focus on information that is material to the decision of investor and other participants in the world's capital market got it sir the new board would initially focus on the climate related reporting while also moving quickly to work towards meeting the information needs of the investors on the environmental social and governance esg matters got it sir very very basic sir the new board would build on well established work of the financial stability board task force on climate related financial disclosures tcfd we have a current issue on this too my friend wherein we have really gone into the details of the climate related aspects we have really really gone into the depth of how the climate related reporting is to be taken place and you being the strategic business reporting guy how one should be really be prepared for handling those climate related nuances onto your financial statement we had a detailed current issue on that that we have already covered all right as well as the work by alliance of leading standard setters in the sustainability and integrated reporting focused on the enterprise value got it sir by working with the standard setters from key jurisdiction standard issued by the new board would provide a globally consistent and comparable sustainability reporting framework this is what is happening my friend this is what is happening on the sustainability reporting framework standpoint this is what is happening on that side of the table that you really need to be aware of is that clear yes sir there is a broad stakeholder support you have to have to have it for globally recognizing sustainability reporting standards everyone needs that currently it can be argued that there are diverse approaches to and objective of sustainability standard setting which could result in increasingly global fragmentation this demonstrates the need to promote comparable reporting and reduce the complexity in approaching in approaches and the objectives that is one of the need that the industry has and of course that is what regulator is really working on got it the set of comparable and consistent standard would allow companies to create public trust through greater transparency of their sustainability initiative which would be helpful to the investors and that's what we really want investor would be would have would be having a better disclosure for such information such as climate risk and sustainability indicators got it sir the objective of the issb now if this really comes up your way my friend in the exam if you are able to demonstrate to the examiner that you know the current issue as to what the current issue is all about as to telling him that you really know what the sustainability reporting is all about you really know what all is the need of the industry you are aware 
in terms of you know what is happening on this side of the table more from the regulator side in terms of what the issb is all about what is ifrs regulators really looking at what is that they're really proposing examiner would be super happy my friend he will say you are a fin tram my friend and you really deserve deserve to clear this exam and of course treat pankaj singra with the cup of coffee and of course i'll be there hanging in with you for hanging that for having that cup of coffee isn't that a great news yes sir so let's go and work that out the objective of issp would be to develop and maintain a global set of sustainability reporting standard such standard setting could could make use of existing sustainability framework and the standards the development of the framework of the sustainability reporting could be coherent with the ifrs standard all right and isb mission to serve investors and primary users of the financial statement that would certainly help ifrs achieve their objective issb could adopt the existing standard setting process and use the experience of isb in promoting the consistent use of application of sustainability standard this would surely surely come your way my friend the ifrs foundation has established expertise in standard setting which would benefit from new issb and the investors this would help the investor to use un sustainability reporting to inform the decision by giving them comparable and the verifiable information very basic my friend very basic in terms of you know what a standard would do we already already understand that got it sir the standard would benefit from the interconnectedness between the financial reporting and sustainability reporting yes that's had to happen and that would certainly help in addition investors would benefit if a single organization develop requirements in financial reporting and sustainability reporting that would certainly help yes sir the ifrs foundation is well positioned to develop an appropriate institution and governance framework for that however there is a risk of reducing the current momentum created by the other framework and standard setting bodies as an alternative ifrs foundation would encourage regulator to mandate the use of sustainability reporting standard globally in addition it could be argued that gri standard already have created the global sustainability reporting standard that regulatory authority authorities could mandate also from the eu standpoint it is already taking a lead in developed sustainability standards and have very ambitious time scale to develop and issue them the isb could contribute to this expertise in the financial reporting to find consistency between the financial and the sustainability reporting just trying to give you some more perspective my friend in terms of what is really happening in the world so that you are really really i would say equipped in terms of knowing that at length is that clear yes sir now there is a demand from investors for international coordination of an agreed set of sustainability reporting standard currently investors are also struggling with incomplete and inconsistent data on companies the issb would assist in providing a level playing field for the companies that prepare report and also international comparability of investors very basic my friend but all of these standards can certainly certainly help in terms of achieving the overall objective of isb and that's what we are really aspiring for but if i really have to talk on you know the changes to the reporting if this really happens and what would be the change for you all right let's go and check that sustainability reporting has been rising steadily up the accounting agenda in the recent years we all know that not least due to the effort of acca and initiatives such as the acca sustainability reporting award at its broad set sustainability reporting gives stakeholders an understanding of an organization role in and contribution to the society sustainability report consider the ways in which non financial issues from the customer service to climate change contribute towards or impact on the value creation as a whole all right the way an organization respond to these non financial issues increasingly determines good reputation positive innovation and ultimately the profitability the reason <coughs> why these issues are starting to influence reporting at all levels is only because of this not just the sustainability the evidence for this is shown by the growing number of sustainability parameters which are now becoming mandatory reporting requirements such as carbon carbon emissions many of the companies have to really do that for example a like corporate governance issues this there is also severe increase in the voluntary reporting of sustainability issues and with the number of voluntary reporting tools and standards now being recognized globally 
accounting standard bodies are setting to, to actively participate in the debate. IFAC, for example, has issued a number of advisory papers in this area, as well as appointing sustainability expert advisory panel that advises IFAC leadership board and other committees on the sustainability and the environmental reporting. Again, just giving you a perspective, my friend, in terms of you know how things are really changing in the reporting world. Given the value that sustainability measures are now perceived to deliver, the briefing papers authors have no doubt that existing traditional financial and business report will soon converge with the sustainability report. Yes, it has to. This convergence will result in radical changes to the reporting system as financial and non-financial information becomes increasingly integrated. These developments may also result in a move to be more precise, sorry, concise, precise, whatever, possibly more frequent and more targeted reporting. Here, the emphasis will be on disclosure rather than reporting. Here, the emphasis would be more on the disclosure rather than reporting and information provided in different formats tailored to the audience for whom it is more and more relevant. The intent of this current issue is to tell you that these all other things that are happening in the sustainability world and the ISSB has been has been there now, you know, for you know, working in this kind of an area in terms of you know what they really need to do and of course gone is a time wherein only the profit reporting you know was was the was of the prime importance now is the time wherein the integrated reporting kind of a thing will certainly certainly has to happen because you have to report on various sustainability sustainability factors to ensure that overall overall reporting on all of the parameters are duly taken care of is that clear yes sir you may not get a numerical question on these kind of areas my friend but you may get a you know a, a question on this that test that do you really know what is happening in the industry at large demonstrating something like this in the exam that you know this and you know how the organization is really really you know need to respond from the futuristic standpoint is what examiner expects out of you and that's what you really need to deliver is that clear yes sir now that is what I wanted to cover my friend. I'll see you again in the next current issue. Till then this is Pankaj Tinkra signing off.